Howdy folks. All right, today I'm going to go over how to set up C names in cPanel for Google Apps. Uh, my situation is that I have a domain registered with one and one and the domain that I'm going to modify is katedugan.com. That's my wife. She doesn't know that I'm doing this, so uh, I'll have to tell her after I do this. Uh, at any rate, first thing we're going to do is modify the DNS settings within the one and one control panel. So go head over to admin.oneandone.com and log in to your control panel. Click Domains, and you'll be at the Domain Overview screen. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and select the uh, checkbox next to the domain that I'm editing. Go to DNS, and I'm going to go Edit DNS Settings. In her case, I've already made the edit. Uh, so all I'm going to do is just verify that my name server settings are correct. So under basic DNS settings, uh, it's set by default to one-on-one -on -one name server. I'm going to go and specify my own name server, go into the primary name server, name that, and name the secondary or specify a value for the secondary name server. So that's all done. I'm switching the DNS here for the main domain name, katedukin.com. Click OK, and I'm good to go. So I'll go ahead and cancel out since I've already done this. All right, so now with that done, my domain that's hosted with one and one is pointing to my server that I have with InMotion Hosting. Uh, so I'll go to my cPanel on that server with InMotion Hosting. I'm going to scroll down till I find Simple DNS Zone editor. That's where I want to be to make the CNAME changes so that, uh, for instance, when I type in uh, a certain subdomain, that it, it appropriately resolves at the Google Apps uh, site that I wish to have it go to. So I'll click on Simple DNS Zone Editor. Select the domain. Let's go to Kate Dugan. All right. And in our case, we're going to add a CNAME record. So name, the name is the subdomain that I'm going to change uh, uh, or that I'm going to create. Uh, the subdomain I'm going to create is webmail.katedugan.com. Uh, so I'll go webmail.katedugan.com. And I'll go down to the C name. The C name, what is the C name? Well, I've already done this, so just bear with me. That's what you're going to do is type in the subdomain that you want. Then I'm going to go to C name. What's the C name for Google Apps? Well, let's go ahead and search Google. Uh, Google Apps C name. Create a C name record, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so here's our C name, ghs.google.com. Go back to cPanel, throw that in there, and then I would click Add C name record. Once I do that, it's going to pop up right here. And you see webmail.katedugan.com, docs.katedugan.com, and calendar.katedugan.com. Uh, it's going to take a little bit, however long it takes, for DNS to refresh and that to propagate through the interwebs. And then when you go to that destination, when I go to my browser and type in webmail.katedugan.com, I'll hit that. That'll go to my Gmail, my Google Mail setup for uh, katedugan.com. Uh, so that works out very nicely. Uh, in her circumstance, I haven't yet signed up for Google Web uh, Apps, uh, for a Google Apps account, rather. So it's Google Apps Standard. Let's go to that. Good deal. Get started. All right. Kate Dugan com submit and I'll fill out all this information I'm guessing I'll have to throw a verification file on my server or something to verify that I own the domain uh, and then I should be good to go this will resolve shortly uh, these C names that you create here and you'll be good to go so that's how you take a domain name registered with uh, an outside registrar be it one and one network solutions GoDaddy point it properly to your hosting provider. Again, I'm going to modify the DNS settings with whoever my uh, registrar is. Point them to the name servers where I have my site hosted at. I'll go into cPanel. And let's go back to that again. I'll go down to Simple DNS Zone Editor. I'll select my domain. 
I'll create the CNAME records, webmail.katedugan.com, docs.katedugan.com, calendar.katedugan.com. I'll create the CNAME ghs.google.com that we found in a different step, a couple steps back. Uh, Google Apps CNAME. And there it is. Put it in. Add CNAME record. And I'll be good to go. That'll propagate through the interwebs. And before you know it, you will be all set up. Oh, one last step. You're going to have to specify within Google Apps, once you create the account, what the actual URL that you're using uh, for the CNAME record is. Um, that will be in another tutorial. Take care.